So these are the, uh, the the bits that I've trimmed off, which I'm going to try. Now, it, I've picked off the pieces that are mostly flat. There are a few little bobbly bits in there. Now, if you've ever had... Um, turns out that seaweed is in a lot of different things that we eat. Carrageenan apparently comes from... I think that's how you say it. It comes from seaweed. And it's like a gelling agent. And I think also a little bit like um, okra or ladies' fingers. It, um, if you don't cook it quite right, it will be a bit slimy. So I'm going to fry it in a little bit of olive oil. Hopefully that will bring out the saltiness of the sea flavour. And it will be lovely with mackerel fillets and some nice buttery mash. So if I take a, a piece of the, the seaweed here, um, one of the pods, and I slice it open, and I give it a little squeeze, you'll see the stuff come, you'll know, see the uh, stuff that comes out of it. Now, it's very like, uh, almost like aloe vera. It's got a kind of, um, oh, Actually, no kind of flavour, actually. It doesn't taste of anything at all. It's completely flavourless, but it does um, seem to have a nice, like I say, aloe vera quality to it. Might be good for skin creams. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put the seaweed, and I've heated up a pan here with some olive oil. Only a little pan, not little pans, you know, because uh, I'm a single guy. I don't need all this masses of pans to feed myself. So these small amounts of things. Supermarkets, pick up on this. Single people need feed too. Right, okay. Let's put this into the pan. And here's something that sizzle up quite nicely. Hopefully this will give us a nice uh, salty seaweedy, well, salty sea flavour. Not seaweedy flavour, I don't want to obviously it is seaweed. I don't want to feel like I'm just getting a mouthful of salt water. Hopefully, it's got, oh, oh. I wish you could smell this, because it's very, uh, literally smells like I've just walked into a seafood restaurant. Oh my God. It's so nice, that really is. If you like fish and seafood, that smells incredible. I'm gonna have this with uh, some mackerel. The only one I could get, unfortunately, was one with the peppers on. I wanted just a plain mackerel to get more of the flavour of the seaweed to see what we're actually dealing with here. But I'm sure it'll all be good. Come summertime, hopefully we'll be able to make a video where we'll actually catch our own fish. I have now made the fried seaweed with the lovely cheesy mash, cheesy buttery mash, and the mackerel fillet, as you can see steaming away quite nicely. So, let's just see how it tastes. Well, I hope that the seaweed's gonna be nice and crispy. So let's have a little piece of the mackerel there. Come on mackerel, come on, get on my foot. Get in my face. Right, the, uh, the crispiness of the, the seaweed. Straight from the beach. Well, not the mackerel, but the seaweed. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's not bad. I think I could definitely do better. Maybe we need to try it of a different type, but I would definitely say that seaweed chopped up fine and fried. It's actually a very nice little side to a, a nice uh, fishy dish. So, I'm hoping in the next couple of months we'll be able to go out again, do some more foraging, hopefully this time find some fish as well, and some other things that are growing on the beach given that it will be later in the year. 
Well, I'm gonna go and eat this. So, from me, Chris, this was Let's Forage. And I will see you again soon. Bye, bye, bye.